Yeah, that was the first emotion that I connected to about AJ. Um, and it, it was very confronting, obviously. Um, but I guess the way I've, done, I've written a lot about it, I've, um, AJ has been very understanding in that if I go into this angry space and it's quite clearly not about um, the groceries, you know, it's quite clearly about something else. That he, he can provide a bit of a sounding board for me and just encourages. And I found that once I really started to verbalise, um, and, and I did a bit of punching bag stuff as well, uh, I very quickly fell into a lot of grief. Um, the grief was so intense though that I found that I, I was coming out of it back into the anger. I really cycled in that for quite a while. So that's a fair assessment. Yeah, yeah. But I guess I've dealt with it in the, in the way that you probably deal with most anger, which is just to try and get it out in some way. So expressing it verbally was really good. Um, Did you express it at you? Or? At, at times, at times, yeah. And it took me a long time to realise that some of the, the other seemingly sort of surface effect sort of anger was related to this really deep feeling of abandonment that I had. And I also found, actually, you know, when I got really down into it, that it turned into a really deep grief about abandonment by God, um, if that makes sense. So, yeah, um, there was a lot of him and about him, and, uh, but then really right, right down there was God. And I actually spent a bit of time being at, like expressing, bashing anger at God, and then Grief underneath that. Yeah, so. Right. Also, um, obviously, there's two different types of anger that I've been talking about, and that's one's the adult type of anger, and the other one is the childlike type of anger. For a reincarnated person, it all fit, it, it, it's it's similar in a way, in that all of all of the anger that we experience is actually based around our first century or our spirit life experience. So it's all about the suppression of our grief about those experiences. So, so what would happen is if Mary got into anger with me uh, about something day to day, or just into that adult-like control of me, then I wouldn't get involved in that transaction with her. So I'd just say, no, you're angry with me, and that's unloving, see you later. Right. Now, when she was actually getting into the, the childlike anger, which is actually her first century based anger, then I'm happy to just sit there and let, let me have it. So when she got into, you know, saying I've done all this to her in the first century, I did that and I did this and I did that, I just sat there and just let her do that. And uh, because to me, now she was actually connecting with the core emotion, not connecting to something that was an emotion of denial. So the key is to be sensitive with anger as to whether it's actually a core emotion, like a childhood-based rage, or whether it's actually a, an emotion of an adult trying to get away from their core emotion. And uh, once you're more sensitive to emotions, you can actually do that within yourself too. Yeah, so for you, Nina, um, with regard to the anger with your ex-partner, it's actually related to how you were treated as a child by a man. So the core emotion, it always gets back to this, as you know, your core emotion is actually about the the, you know, your ex-partner is treating your son, isn't it, in the same way as you were treated when you were little from a male. Uh, and there's a linkage there, and this is why you're getting angry with your ex-partner. The reason why you're getting angry with the ex-partner is because you're in the adult-like anger, wanting to blame your ex-partner for how he's treating his son. But actually, you, your son is attracting it because of your attraction. And your attraction was due to your first to, to, to your first emotions when you were just recently born, right? So all of those emotions right at the early time of your life. And they are the emotions you need to focus on with men. So it gets back again to your relationship with dad or not having a relationship with dad and not being noticed and not you know not being cared for and those kind of emotions. Now you can feel that. Now that is actually going to also connect to the way you feel about God. 
So you're going to feel the masculine side of God is like that, is a person who doesn't care for women, doesn't care for me, you know, and all those kind of feelings too. So there'll be linkage of these feelings linked up which once you connect with it. So the event with your ex-partner, with the way he's treating the son, is actually just a trigger for the actual causal emotion which is related to your own childhood. 